<laughs> Lawrence humming on 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 camera. All right, I said thump as in like that's what's written. Welcome back. I'm Rob. We have Lawrence. Well, he's already said my name. So what's the point? <laughs> we have uh, Ify. No. Uh, and we have Alex. Uh, yes. I'm hungry. Uh, <laughs> and Lawrence is hungry. Let it be known. Uh, right, we're hearing some thumping in his door. And also, I didn't read the title. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> you didn't what? I didn't read the title, but it's fine. Miles Edgeworth Uber eats pass. If you, haven't read the, if you haven't read the title of the video, then I don't know what you're doing. Okay, no. Hmm. There's someone inside. Thump, thump. Thump, thump. Crash. Bandicoot? Is it John? John, we're coming to save you! Yeah? This is... You're Sebastian! What? Why? Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is Blaze's house, right? That would mean... Yes, it should also be Sebastian's house. Well, I think it's only it's, it's his now. Now, Blaze has gone to jail, so poison is his place of residence. So then, why is he? Kay, go help him out. I'm not dirty in my hands. If it has to do with ropes, just leave it to Kay. Don't don't say that again. Here I go. A little pull over here. A quick tug over there. Are you all right, Sebastian? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd say the answer to that question, Kay, is no. <laughs> you captured the spirit of the lion. I didn't need to stick no. around. No, no, I'm just sitting here like <laughs> at this one. Why are you tied up in a place like this? I, I don't know. I know. <laughs> yeah. You guys don't know anything about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's because we don't know, that's why we're asking you! He's completely shut off his heart. Indeed, it has come to this. I suppose I have no choice but to... Logic chess him. Ah, you mean... You can unlock his heart? I hate to do this when he's in a fragile state. It's like kicking a man who's down. I can't believe like, can... freaking Phoenix out here with like a whole Magatama and some spiritual shit to assist him. Edward, I'm just gonna fucking do it raw. <laughs> I'm just gonna kick his ass. <laughs> Fuck it. Will it be alright? His mind might break if you corner him too much, you know? Well, it's not like we lose much if that happens. Mind crush! <laughs> Yes, I'm aware of that, but who cares? I will try to be careful anyways. I wonder how this will turn out. Yada yada dizzy. Indeed. I've never held back against anyone before, and I ain't about to start doing that now. Uh, to be fair, you can get some really funny little special uh, sequences that don't work. Yeah, let's not, be, let's not bully him. Uh, I'll take a safe state, because it's hilarious. Uh, yeah. Literally, let's not bully him. It spends five minutes... Fucking shit about him, alright? <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, after running out of the meeting room this morning, why would he be here of all places? You, you guys don't know how I feel. <laughs> Holy shit. He's gone through a lot of shock. He must be on the verge of an emotional meltdown. It can't be helped. At times like this, I must quietly listen to what he has to say. No one tells me anything. Well, you're the only one being left out like an idiot. Hmm, I should try and ask this question as best I can. Seeing how fragile he is, I won't have much time to spare. I may as well say, say here, Rob, instead of the way you say, say, second go. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it here. I need to ask about his true feelings and try to calm him down post haste. Alright, what are you gonna do to him? Uh, something hilarious. This triggers a hilarious response. <laughs> oh, no. From what I've seen these past few days, you have absolutely no redeeming qualities. Perhaps you should try starting your friend as a human being. Jesus Christ, Holy Edward. Holy shit! <laughs> Calm down, I'm not finished yet. Oh my god. Uh, I'm never going to entertain you or anyone else again. 
Ugh, I just said the one thing that I shouldn't have said. The truth. Oh my gosh, that just kills it. Uh, leave me much. alone already. <laughs> we can just fucking destroy him. <laughs> you should start over again as a human being. Whoa. <laughs> Edward, that's not okay. <sighs> and I think what's on this right now is like, why are you such a cunt, Edward? <laughs> Could you please tell us on your mind? I, I don't want it. I feel like you'd listen to me anyways. That's right, I'll never listen to you. I can pretend to listen. I can pretend to listen. What's wrong? I really need to be shouting objection right about now. Objection? Hold it. <laughs> You're serious? You're really gonna listen to what I have to say? I can understand the shock you went through after what happened with your father. It wasn't just daddy. This morning I, I lost everything. It's like some, oh, you poor baby. Everything I have was given to me by daddy. This isn't even logic chess, this is just therapy chess. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, that's the last one was too. We've been playing therapy at him. Yeah, I've been true. Just what am I supposed to believe in? Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Don't believe in anything. If you can't believe in others, then at least believe in yourself. You'll need to gain experience on your own. But if you require wisdom, I can lend you a hand. Uh, ever since I got locked up, I've been thinking. Am I too... ...inculpable to be prosecuted on culpable? I don't know, which one was it? I use incapable. Seven figure out. I believe incapable is the word you're looking for. Getting your own ability is not an easy task. Sebastian. Little by little, you are growing. Sebastian, would you tell me your side of the story? I understand. What should I talk about? Is hmm. it goes something zero to hundred real fucking quick? He seems to kind of calm down slightly. We'll go back down to zero very shortly. I'd like you to tell me everything about, you know, about the kidnappers. Now then, tell me what you heard and saw. Uh, this is... Why were you tied up in here? Why were you tied up in your own home, of all places? That, that's what I'd like to know. I'm the victim, how should I know? Stop playing the victim, because you know you're the victim. <laughs> Jeez. I was scared of being locked up all alone, you know? Hmm, did your abductors happen to say anything to you? I don't really get it, but one of them said, Don't blame us, blame the owner of this house. Uh, Isn't the owner of Blaze yeah, the best? Blaze the best. The owner of this house, wouldn't that be Blaze the best? Damn, you snapped the stick. Oh, uh, daddy, I, I get it. Someone who hates daddy must have taken me hostage. No, same to situation, that seems unlikely. The connection between Blaze and the kidnappers. This could be a useful clue. Who kidnapped you? Do you have any idea who the kidnapper could have been? Of course I don't. If I did, I would have told you already. No try using that clue. A kidnapper can easily use his own home to hold someone captive. Sebastian. You were kidnapped by your own father. Uh -huh. It can't be. What was he going to kill me because? I was a nuisance? God, this is fucking of course, sad and dark. <laughs> Would there be any reason for him to take your life? If his son was found dead in his own garage, Blaze would be suspected immediately. I see. Then, then why was I kidnapped? Kidnapping his own son, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be after any ransom money. There must be some other reason why Blaze ordered this kidnapping. This would be a useful clue. This is... Do you know the kidnapper's objective? This one. Do you know what the kidnapper's objection was? Objection? 
Yeah, what their objection was? I'm, 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 I'm just fucking continue. <laughs> what are you saying? What else would he care to want besides your handsome? They're Uber Eats. That's right, he's not clue. Blaze had another objection. No, Curry, fuck no. He'd <laughs> have his own son in order to demand curry, it wouldn't make much sense. Yeah, you're right. Did you notice anything strange when you got kidnapped? Oh, as soon as I answered your question, he just took me away. What did they ask you? Because you sure didn't put up much of a fight. Yeah, why did you throw you... hands? They asked you a question. Tell me what they asked you. They're going to have it like that. Um, I think they asked me, do you know Courtney? I see. The piece of the puzzle is starting to fall into place. Blaze and the kidnappers did not intend to kidnap you. Their objective was John Marsh. They were planning to kidnap George Courtney's son. In order to have Patricia Rowland declared not guilty. If he has a son? Well, what a moment gets to kind of guilty with her? I suspect the kidnappers mistook you for John Marsh. And all of this was just a mistake? Wait, wait, maybe that's why back then. Hmm. Did you just remember something? No, it's 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 not it. It's the meals is anyways. Just leave me alone already. This is bad. He might have emotional he might be has emotional limit. I must get him to tell me what he remembered and try to calm him down as well. Oh suddenly. Based on the stress Sebastian looks right now, it must have been quite traumatic. I'll need to get him back on his feet. The high intensity theme is back. What do you remember? What did you remember just now? I didn't remember anything. But about uh, that guy. About oh? Blaze? Blaze? Oh, Would that oh. guy have to be Blaze? Darn it! Oh, this is different to me and someone who earned his prosecutor title. I mean, wanted to ask you, why did you want to become a prosecutor? It doesn't matter, it's not, I'm not fit to be a prosecutor anyways. You don't fit at all, it, it fits, fits me quite well. Quite well. <laughs> the guy who doesn't have a badge. <laughs> it's true. Say something. What happened to you? You must have some reason for choosing this path, right? No, it's not like that. Wasn't well, anything special. One sec. <coughs> I became a prosecutor for the really for a really insignificant reason. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Mean. It was just a personal reason. Just like you, I too became prosecutor for a personal reason. Uh, is, is that true? But but you're a really successful prosecutor. I'm sure that Daddy's PIC chairman would have been more proud of you than me. Uh, you wanted your father's approval, huh? I see, so you wanted your father's approval. Uh, I, I thought it would... I thought, if, I thought that if I became the best prosecutor, you'd be proud of me. That's why I, I just wanted to help out Pops as much as I could. Yeah. Would you have to be protecting your father? I I don't have any reason to protect someone like him. He's your sure dad. Didn't you want to help out your father as much as you could? <laughs> just once, I only wanted to be useful to daddy just this once. <laughs> That's why I could help gain his rep repetition. You seem to be mixing up your words again. The word you're looking for is reputation. Uh, no one's ever told me that before. <laughs> your father has to stray from his pub, continues to add to his crimes. Even your though he's asked, you truly want things the same day, same day are. 
But in that case, just what am I supposed to do? You should triumph over your father who has treated you like a fool. You must stop Blaze before he commits another crime. I never thought of it that way. I want to triumph over Daddy. Somehow it seems he has calmed down once again. Now's my chance to ask him about Blaze the secret. I'll give Sebastian the courage to stand up to his father. Talk or I'll charge you with an accomplice. Do we even know? Alright, shit. Do we want to find that one out? Why not? Now, why don't you tell me about Blaze's secret? If you continue to protect your father like this, you'll be charged as an accomplice, you know. <laughs> don't be so mean, Mr. Ashworth. I already said I'd tell you, there's no reason to threaten me. Uh, Mr. Ashworth, I hate you. No! Alright, let's, 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 let's read, thank you. <laughs> Was there some connection between your father and Patricia Rowland? I'm sorry, I don't really know. Every every tiny bit helps. Can you remember anything at all? Hmm. I think sometimes they would interact with each other during work, but... Was there something else? But, is there something else on your mind? Apparently, Daddy is the one who recommended her going to be the warden. Oh? Was there a reason for Blaze to recommend her? Probably because, unlike me, Pops actually cares about her. Well, they fuck it. That's not true. There's no reason to be that. I guess nobody likes you. Jesus Christ. And doesn't Courtney like him in a weird way? Mm -hmm. I think Courtney has a motherly instinct with him, at least. Yeah. Well, Pops has known her since she first became the chief prosecutor. I can't believe his mother is the weasel lady. Mm. What was he like when he was the chief prosecutor? Oh, Pops was amazing. He looked over every single piece of evidence that went to the prosecutor's office. He looked over every single piece of evidence. This could be a major clue. It seems the evidence regarding Patricia Brown never made it to trial. It's the duty of the prosecutor to watch over the evidence. Did you take care of it properly? That's not right. Just listen to what I have to say. No. There's no excuse. You have listened to what I have to say. <laughs> I thought I would keep it in the safest place I knew. Dude, what have I done? He seems to have become unsettled again. I suppose I should do it in different hand. Do you Did you give it to me? The place you thought would be safest. Would that have been in Blaze the best hands? <laughs> you told me that it would be safer if you took care of the other captain. That was. I'm sorry, but he has betrayed your trust in the worst way possible. Bob, why would you want to hide the evidence? At least try undecided, I guess. Blaze's objective was to have the Warden Roland found not guilty by obscuring the truth. Sebastian, you were used by your father. What? Wow. I'm a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible that Blaze the best has the evidence with him. But more, we still have no idea where John is. I must return to my investigation post haste. However, if this is on my fault, what am I gonna do now? Seeing him like this, I just can't leave him be. Nothing. You okay, there, buddy? What? Well, yeah. What? Well, yeah. I'm fine. He is still suffering in the gap between his ideal and reality. He will never move on until he figures out how to live his own life. Did you have a burp? Kinda. Of. Like, like, I, I just yeah. have some gas in my chest, I guess. That's fine. Sebastian is about to face his greatest trial. Perhaps this is fate. I shall give him the push for what he needs. Right. Will you walk the same path as your father? What are you going to do? 
Will you continue to ignore the truth, just like your father? Please stop it already. I don't want your pity. Leave me alone. I believe you mean pity. I need pity is the word you're looking for. Really? I thought it was pity. I also have my own reasons for wanting to speak with you. There was a time when I, too, did not seek the truth and continued to run away from it. However, thanks to a certain friend, I was able to realize my mistake. He was talking about Stop. me. Stop. Bad. Fuck off. <laughs> Tease again. <laughs> it's just fucking like beating the right thoughts away with a fucking stick. No! Back and forth, please! Back! That's nice. Yeah, you're like Mr. Future. I don't have anyone like that. I will show you the way. You have the courage to stand up. I will show you the way. I will show you the way, my brother. Uh, you will show me the way? I will show you the way. <laughs> brother. Brother. Jesus Christ. Don't have a deal for it, though, brother. <laughs> I don't want to be like daddy, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so he wants to surpass his own father. I understand his feelings clearly now. Do you still intend to continue as a prosecutor? I don't really know. It's not like I became a prosecutor on my own. Other than that, I don't even have a right to continue being a prosecutor. Decide that for yourself? Of course not. <laughs> Whether or not you continue as a prosecutor is something you must decide for yourself. Jesus Christ, the actual translated line for that? When you click it, is like something like Jibunden Kangai Pe Mai. Which is like, whoa. Well, Japanese is extra. <laughs> Anyways. Ah, Look, I'm not gonna win. Only you can determine your path in life. Only you can prevent forest fires. Forest fires yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to stop being a prosecutor. Because if I give up now, and I'm gonna regret it for the rest of my life. So he wants to continue to live as a prosecutor. I shall keep his will in mind. Sebastian says that he wants to surpass his father and continue to be a prosecutor. In other words, he wants to be a different prosecutor from his father. It's the first answer he's arrived at on his own. I'm sure if he has the will, really. he'll find his way. Well, uh, the point is that it's his own decision. It's not something what that you, was given to him. What do you plan to do from here on out? First, I'm returning this red jacket. I'm not fit to wear it. Clothes fake the man. I think that's what pups used to say. You know how long it was fake. It's clothes make the man. Look much better on me. <laughs> it's not fake, the saying is. Clothes make the man. You are what you wear. Does that mean if I wear a dragon suit, I'm a dragon and I can fly? No, you're just yeah. a person wearing a dragon suit. No, I'm a shadow. Don't break my... Don't break it. Sh sh silence. Alright. Clothes make the man. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, I've learned something new yet again. But this time, the clothes make the dragon. <laughs> the dragon's fist. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all you have to do now is become a prosecutor who is fit to wear that jacket. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. That way, no one will ever make fun of me again. Oh, no, we're totally gonna you'll always be made fun of. You'll always be made fun of. <laughs> How can I get people to accept me? Don't you? I don't know what to do. For goodness <clears throat> sake, don't you remember your own words? Perhaps his own will can show him the way. You don't want to be like your father. As a prosecutor, didn't you want to walk a different path from your father? Certainly, the path you have chosen is not an easy one. Nevertheless, you still chose to live as a prosecutor. In that case, it should be clear to you what you need to do. Ah, uh, this is a bit later. Okay. I still question how I live my life to this day. But you, Sebastian, have found your answer. So believe in yourself. Prosecutor the best. Right. <laughs> he was mistaken for John and kidnapped by Blaze's underlings. And after his father stole his evidence, 
He lost his confidence as a prosecutor. The emotions he is going through must be more painful than anything I could imagine. But check me. It's taken longer than I thought, but with that, it's checkmate. It's... okay. We're finally done giving Sebastian therapy. He dashed out of here at full speed. He seems as one think he's the best at it's running away. Oh come uh, on, uh, man. Uh, That's uh, not fair. Uh, <laughs> That's it, not fair at all. April 6th, 150. He still went for the the finishing blow. <laughs> he got the Justice, we're running out of time. We should check in with Mr. Shields. I also like to know what sites the situation's like on their end. The Mr. De Best ran off again. We'll just give him the new information we discovered. Francisco will take his place. Uh -huh. I wonder if that's going to be enough. It can't be helped since he ran away. There's nothing more we can do. As I took out my cell phone and called the number. Oh, God. Um, I guess I'll just say it again. If there's no murder weapon, you can't prove the defendant is guilty. Objection! Just because we don't have some murder weapon doesn't mean the defendant is innocent. It seems you wish to taste the sting of my vid. Yeah. Mr. Turk, this turtle, how much longer will it take? I need to feed my weasel. The villain hasn't gone anywhere at all for a good while now. Well, sorry, but that stubborn prosecutor over there just doesn't seem to understand. Until I am satisfied. This vid will lash out at you as many times as I see fit. By now, she's probably with me once for every year I've been alive. Well, how, old, how old is he? Miles. Uh, what's taking you so long? He is... Uh, it's like... He's 36. 36. He's so at least 36. At least 36. I think he's she's been she's whipped, whipped him like that. once a minute. And that's that's a, that's a, I mean, that, if anything, that's that's generous. Even though we're just stalling for time, Uncle Ray can't keep this up much longer. Beep, beep. Uh, Ray is tackling. No check on the courtroom. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. chill, chill, chill. It's a phone call. It's a phone call. Mind if I take this? I will allow it. I shouldn't, but I will. <laughs> Mr. Shields. Oh, thank God, Miles, it's you. How's it going over there? We found Sebastian. Oh, and the knife and the chisel? It seems he handed the evidence over to Blaze the best. It's very likely that Blaze knows the whereabouts of the murder weapon. Ex-chairman the best? But why would Blaze... That I don't know yet. However, there may be some hidden connection between Patricia Rowland and Blaze. Gotcha. In that case, I'll issue a subpoena for Blaze the best right away. I'll grill him personally. I will continue to search for the missing evidence. And for John as well. Try to hurry him up. Hurry it up, would ya? We're at our wit's end over here, and by weary, I mean me. It feels like the verdict could be handed down at any moment. Understood. How much longer can Judge Courtney's heart hold out? I know she's in a lot of pain. Got to hurry. Did you see Sebastian? Mm -hmm. I think there was more water on his face than flesh. What about Sebastian? <laughs> wow, man. So, how's the trial going? Uh... It's going very well. Blaze will be taking the stand. I don't know how things will turn out, though. He'll do anything, from hiding evidence to kidnapping. He really is nothing but trouble. I agree. We should probably take another look at the evidence concerning him. Okay, leave it to me. First, here's the latest evidence, fresh from the scene. There the gloves from earlier, although I'm certainly curious about them. Anything else? The case files from the IS-7 incident. If I recall, Blaze was also involved in this, right? <laughs> Indeed, he was involved in destroying Ev Evans. For now, let's keep this on hand. 
We're right back. Yep. Now then, is there anything else? Of course. Last but not least, we've got this. This is the Yatsu Garasu's badge, Kay. I'm talking about things related to Blaze. Please be serious. But aren't you always going around presenting random evidence to Mr. Edgeworth? No! No! Well... Hmm, isn't that Sebastian? That, what are you doing here? I guess he's not here. Whoa! <laughs> he Crash us. Bandicoot? Is that Crash Bandicoot? Is that you? I got a lot beaten, otherwise I'm gonna get people. I mean, I don't think people can hear me, but hey ho. He came out to the Grand Tower. What was he doing in there? Let's go I'm investigate what dump. Mr. DeBest was up to. Yes, let's just go. Period. Hmm, the hatch is open. It might be Mr. DeBest who opened it. Mr. Sebastian, come in here. Mr. Edward, over here. The safe's open. Do you come here to open that? Let's examine it thoroughly. Oh, God, do I have to go all the, the way here? There's something inside the safe. Let's go ahead and have a look. There are some documents in here. Hmm. It's just a bunch of papers and... Huh? There's a photo here, too. Hmm. This is a picture of... Huh? Th that's Mr. Knightley. Was it Iffy that voiced him? I uh, don't know. Just go with it. Iffy? Is he here? He's gone. He's gone to do something. Right. He's back in a second. Fair enough. Horace Knightley, the president's bodyguard. Oh, no, no, yeah, I think you did it, Rob, because um, if he was the president. Yeah. Why is this picture here? And what are all these papers for? Besides, Rob, who, who else can do the man who smells the sound of piss? It was, in fact, if he at some point, but yeah. But, Rob, you, I'm pretty sure you're the one who said to smell the sound of piss, though, I think. Yeah, I said that as K. Uh, okay. I don't know. We will have to find, read the, we have to watch the videos previously to find out. And all of a sudden, there's a connection between Knightley and Dogen. Dogen's chess partner, whose identity remained unknown until now, was actually Knightley all along. There is proof. That is proof enough. Why is it green, and why is there no... Or I shall interrogate him in the Warden's office. I'll get him to confess that he's one of Dogen's henchmen. Oh, he's reading from the report. That thing he laid to rest near the flower bed 12 years ago. You simply must retrieve it. This seems to be a report about Knightley. Not to mention it was apparently written before Knightley was killed. I was Knightley was murdered while I was being interrogated in the warden's office. And you remember the contents, this document was probably written by Patricia Rowland. I knew it! The question, however, is who this report was addressed to. Ah, the owner of this safe is... A conductor, Blaze the best. So this proves that Miss Roland and Blaze are connected. Indeed, however, it's not just the, the two of them. Huh? Blaze the best and Patricia Roland were searching for Dogen's henchman. Sir Han Dogen, that dog loving assassin. Blind ass motherfucker. This means that there is a hidden connection between the three of them. I wonder what it could be. I don't know, but it must be related to this case. Ah, there's some other stuff in here that I remember seeing. There's something on his finger. Let's have a closer look. Just your finger. Oh, it looks like an expensive ring. Don't steal it. What? I didn't do anything yet. Forest Knightley's... The chessboard and the ring. All of his possessions are inside this safe. So basically, all of this stuff is evidence from the prison case? Correct. Then the knife and the chisel that vanished might be in here, too. Let's see. Mr. Knife, Mr. Chisel. Hmm. They're not in there. I guess this is all just Mr. Knightly stuff. I see. That's too bad. Of course, Knightly is dead. Wait, he is? Edgeward! 
This game isn't over yet. You hear me? Ah. Ah. You already ended, though. How the game's not over yet. Correct. We're still playing. Unless I can see it through to its end. I can't believe the game was over for nightly. Right. Let's leave. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, okay, Miles Bob. Edward, Ace Attorney Investigations. Prosecutor's back. See you around. Okay.